What's up guys, welcome back to the Ultimate Mullis Race Cars Bracket Dragster Build Series. As you guys can see, we got the Mullis behind me. Today, I have the dash tore out of the car, okay? I have the dash tore out of the car. I'm gonna start figuring out how I'm gonna lay out the main dash components, including this gigantic LCD screen. Uh, this is part of a CompuLink data logger system. And as you can see, Fitment inside of the dash is probably going to be a bit of a challenge, but I have an idea uh, utilizing this custom made bracket. I'm hoping to actually get something that looks pretty decent in here. Of course, we have the Pro Cube with Z Force and our KR switch panel that'll also need to be get mounted in there. There's also a couple other, you know, brackets and other switches and stuff that'll eventually have to get mounted in there, but just trying to get the basics done today, kind of get things laid out. And, uh, and try to get this hot rod one step closer to being on the racetrack. that it's going to be difficult to get my Dremel into this corner. I want to leave just a little bit of the corner there for strength, but um, it's going to be too hard to get my tool on there. So I'm going to have to cut that from the back side. So we're going to cover this all with tape so we don't get any extra scratches or anything like that. <laughs> So at this point you can kind of see where I'm going with this mount. As you can see, I have left right adjustability, forward and back adjustability, as well as up and down slight adjustability. We're gonna be tight right there so we can't really go up too much more. We're gonna see how it lands and hopefully we can get it exactly where we want with all of these different slots. So. That's kind of where we're at. Oh, baby. Go to the store and get the appropriate washers for that. And then I will take this out. Get that masking tape out of there. You like? Does that look cool? Mm -hmm. That mount turned out to work much better than I actually anticipated. Normally, stuff that I make does not work that well. That one did. Printed a couple templates off of krperformance.com. Of course, they have templates and instruction manuals and everything for all their products, you know. Check them out. While you're there, maybe pick yourself up one of these super duty wiring kits, maybe a Pro Cube delay box, some dial boards, whatever you need. Uh, and utilize discount code GOLSTAR5. Get yourself 5% off, you guys, while you're there. Now, check this out. I think I'm going to use this same hole that's already here for mounting, you know, the dash onto the car. there that thing I'm thinking about just using that same hole because there's absolutely no reason that shouldn't fit I don't think behind this switch panel so I'm gonna use that hole not add another hole and just kind of cut this template out right there I kind of like that spot I like how that's landing and then we're gonna try and wiggle this around until we like that too but we're gonna start with the switch panel here components of the dash everything's cut out and ready obviously we still have a couple other small little switches and a power switch but I can do that when it's in the car 
I think the next step, I'm gonna put this dash piece back in the car, and then we're gonna put the components in when it's in the car so that it's not, you know, extra heavy and I'm not banging the electronics on stuff when I try to install this piece. So, in the car with this baby right now. You ready, girl? Yeah. Okay. So this part. You think it's gonna look good, Vera? Yeah. Hope so. Dad put a lot of holes in this nice dash, didn't he? <laughs> Once you cut the holes, you can't change them. <laughs> so, I hope it looks good. Unless you have another dash. Like, yeah. if you have a piece of paper, but then you mess up, you gotta get another piece of paper. Or yeah. flip it over. <laughs> or flip it over. But that doesn't, the, the, the dash won't flip it. It wouldn't look good if we just flipped it over. No. And it won't line up. Yeah, but if you cut a hole in a piece of paper, and you don't like the hole, and then you flip over the piece of paper, guess what? It's still the same. It still has a hole in it, right? Yeah, that's what's up. So we just gotta make sure this is right, don't we? guys the dash I mean it's not all the way done yet still need to put a power switch I'm thinking probably up here um, there may be like a toggle switch and maybe a couple other buttons but I have a free space kind of in this zone or potentially up in here uh, yeah I'm liking how this looks um, you know I was concerned with how much of the behind the actual screen you'd see and you know I'm Pleasantly surprised to find out that you really you can't see back there much at all You know the top of the dash really does a good job of hiding everything. It still tucks back behind there ever so slightly um, You know we're out front of this lip, so that was the constraint, but I like how that turned out you guys I have adjustability in every which way if I determine that it's not perfectly centered or something But I think it looks pretty awesome the way it is right here right now. I'm loving how that looks can't wait to get everything powered up uh, you know and, and see what this looks like. This is this is like <laughs> Spaceship crap compared to what what I'm used to you guys look at the I mean what channel to race on? I mean gee whiz can we turn YouTube on this unit? This is incredible So huge shout out to KNR performance engineering for sponsoring a portion of this video you guys golf star 5 is the discount code at krperformance.com heavy-duty wiring kit pro cube dial boards all the trick bracket racing parts that you need. Check them out, krperformance.com. All right, that is gonna wrap up today's video. This installment of the Ultimate Mullis Race Cars Bracket Dragster Build Series. Huge thank you goes out to Mullis Race Cars for sponsoring this entire series. You guys, if you are at all interested 
and getting yourself a new dragster anytime in the future, go ahead and give the boys over at Mollus Race Cars a call. You guys will not regret the craftsmanship and the quality product that comes out of the Mullers Race Cars garage. So go and check them out. Until next time, thank you guys for liking, commenting, subscribing, all the things you do, and Leonard still does not have pants on. Say see you later. See you later. I hope you like our dragster. Bye. Bud, you gotta do the thing. What? You gotta do the, you gotta do the, you know the thing that you always wanna do? What thing? Like, to the camera. Oh. You done lost your mind, you don't remember it. Gosh, you are a mess right now. Just absolutely, absolutely. Do you like her, do you like her, if you like, if you like her, drink her, drink her, bye.